should really clean these off. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so we have self-care. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Amanda and today I want to share with you my quarantine favorites. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I broke up my quarantine favorites by home favorites, work favorites, and self-care favorites. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm first going to start off with home favorites. So my first one is the electric kettle. I use this electric kettle every single day to boil water for my matcha or just to boil water to boil things in a pot. I feel like it actually boils water faster than a pot boils water. So we'll first boil it in the kettle and then pour it into the pot. We just use it so often and it's so quick and easy to use. I did create a review video for this electric kettle if you are interested in watching that. Another home favorite is the Amazon Fire TV stick. We recently just upgraded ours to the news version and we are loving this. We use this every single day. We stream Netflix, Hulu, we watch YouTube videos, all of that using this. What's nice about this new version is that there's a power button and there are volume buttons. So even though we have like an external sound system, we can use this one remote to control it. And we can also control the TV with this and turn the TV on and off with this one remote so we don't have to fumble with multiple remotes like we were before. Another quarantine favorite I actually mentioned a little bit earlier is matcha. I've been using this one, but pretty much any matcha will probably do. This is one from Amazon and I've been liking matcha because it is kind of a nice little energy boost to last me throughout the day and it's really tasty and I like the flavor and it's because I don't really like to drink hot tea because it upsets my stomach and I don't drink coffee. So matcha is the perfect drink for me. It's really simple and easy to make and I'll link my matcha video if you are interested in that as well. Another home favorite or should I say snack favorite is these sweet corn turtle chips from Costco. These are available at like some Bay Area Costco, so you might be able to find that. It's like an Asian um, sweet corn chip and I reviewed it with my dad if you haven't watched that video already, but I have loved these. I actually really like these. These are kind of like sweet and a tiny bit salty at the same time and I just love the crunch that it has. So I've been reaching for these like all the time. My last home favorite is this Starbucks mug with a straw. Kurt bought me this a couple years ago, but I kind of dusted it off and started using it during quarantine. It makes drinking water a lot easier, especially when I'm on video on Zoom meetings. So it's just like a neater way to drink water versus my hydro flask where I have to like un screw the cap, then drink, and then screw the cap back on during a meeting. I honestly don't drink as much water through this straw as I would with my hydro flask, but at least it's like nicer way of drinking water in front of people while I'm on video. <laughs> Okay, now we are heading in to my work favorites. So my first work favorite is calming Zoom background. I use Zoom and I'm typically on video most of the time and I decided to start using this relaxing Zoom background. I basically just found this image off Google, so it's not mine and I don't take credit for it, but it is just so relaxing to have in my background and it just puts me in like a positive, chill, relaxed mood and attitude and that's kind of what you need when you're going on like back-to-back -back meetings all the time. So that's just a nice thing that I've been taking advantage of all throughout quarantine. Another work favorite is an ergonomic mouse. This is the one that I've been using. As you can see, this is kind of like how you use it. It's like sideways and it's just better for your wrist. And this is the one from Anker and I'll link this below. I've also used a different one, but I left it in the office and so it's just sitting in my office, not being used. I actually prefer the one that I have in the office, so I'll try to find that and link it down below as well because it is better because it's smaller and if you have petite hands like I do, it's a little bit comfier, but this one's not that bad as well. So it just has a USB connection that you connect to your laptop and yeah, it just makes it so your wrist is a little bit more upright versus like, like this all the time. So highly recommend an ergonomic mouse. My last work favorite are blue light filtered or yellow tint glasses. 
And these are two that I have. Um, this one, as you can see, is a little bit more yellow tinted and this one's more clear. You can find both on Amazon, but this one we bought years ago, so I'm not quite sure if we can find it. Um, I'll, li I'll link it if I can find it, but it's been a while. But this one is an older model and it is yellower. It just basically helps block out a lot of the blue light so that it's easier on your eyes and they don't strain your eyes as much. These ones my friend Amelia gave to me, so I'll link them below, but as you can see, it's less yellow tinted and a little bit more modern looking. So yeah, I just like to wear this either when I'm not in meetings because it kind of interferes with the headset or, you know, closer to nighttime when I'm working on videos or, you know, work or anything like that. I'll tend to wear the glasses on top of like my phone and my laptop being on, you know, night mode because it just makes it easier for me to sleep later on. You can also use these when watching TV closer to your bedtime as well and I still am able to fall asleep. All right, so we are finally in the last category. We are at self-care favorites. So I'm super excited about this. This is my favorite category, honestly. Um, but the first self-care favorite is this water sleeping mask. As you know, it's kind of been heat waves lately. And so the last thing I want to do is put on like a thick, heavy cream or moisturizer. So um, this is really perfect. This is the Laneige or Laneige water sleeping mask. It's very light but moisturizing and it also actually has like a cooling effect. It feels nice and refreshing when you put it on. So I've been liking this as a moisturizer for nighttime. Another self-care favorite is this massage tool. And I know this is huge, but this is the back body, wait, body back body, wait. I just literally looked this up. It is the Body Back Buddy, and it's basically a way to massage your back and find and touch those pressure points. And I have been loving this. I will use this right before bed to like relax my body and, you know, get me ready to sleep. And it's just because, you know, like massage places are closed and I haven't gotten massage since like last year. So, this will have to do for now until everything is reopened again, but I have loved this and I really just focus on my like, up, like neck and upper back. It just feels so good and relaxing. Another self-care favorite is this coloring book. This is the Everything Beautiful coloring book and my friend Eunice gave this to me and it is just perfect like as you can see some of it i've colored and some of it i have not i haven't colored since middle school so this is like the perfect coloring book because one like everything is big enough to color in and the shapes aren't too small or anything like that and two it just comes with like you know inspirational quotes and also Bible verses, which is perfect for me because I like both quotes and Bible verses. I just find quotes and Bible verses very inspirational and hopeful, and this is just what you need during quarantine anyway. So yes, I've been loving coloring during certain times where I just want to like de-stress and relax. The next item for self-care is the Disney Tsum Tsum app. I don't know if you play it, but this is like one of the only games that I play on my phone and I used to play it years ago and I re-uploaded it during quarantine and uh, it's just relaxing for me because it's mindless. You don't really have to think too hard about it unless you're like actually playing a challenge, but it's been fun and just seeing the little Disney Sim Sims like they just put you in like a good mood. So sometimes I use it to tackle some anxiety and I'll just kind of, you know, distract myself by playing it. So love been loving that game that wraps up my quarantine favorites let me know what some of your quarantine favorites are in the comments or let me know if anything interested you that i shared of mine i hope you liked this video if you did don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this i hope to see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye